okay so let's take a look at how you can install Zubuntu on Oracle Cloud's compute instance right so I have like limitation of one CPU and one GB RAM so within which I can use one of the Ubuntu distros named Lubuntu for serving this purpose right so what I can do is I can go to compute then instances right now here I will create a new instance right there is an interesting thing about the uh, instances that by default it will show both terminated and running but if you want to change that to only running it will show the filtered running one right now the next thing I want to create an instance and here you can take a look at is let's see AMD and let's name this AMD Lubuntu right now currently you can see it will pick the free region always available right so we will have to shift to image and shape so I will pick the image first and here you can see it allows me to pick from Oracle Ubuntu CentOS Windows use Alma Rocky right so if I want to have my own image what I can do click on my images currently as you can see there isn't any so I will click on custom images that I can use so here as you can see it will show you how to have your own image to launch you must specify an image to use when you launch an instance right so let's take a look at options that we have right so custom images compartment and image OCID currently there is nothing there right so here you can take a look at option to get your custom image right because that's the one we are going to select right so let's open one of the tab here and we can go for custom images so we will search in our top search bar so we have custom images services so we will select that and let's see if it allows me to import an image so I will click on import image then here you see imported image name Lubuntu right and it is Linux right then import from object storage bucket and here we will have to mention that right so what we can do is we can cancel this and on another tab I will go to my object storage right that's where I'm going to upload that big image so we'll find out the capacity of our storage so object storage and archive storage so currently they are giving like 10 GB each so let's find out if we can actually do something with it right so here you see currently no objects so I will upload an object so here I will choose object name Lubuntu here again choose standard tier or infrequent access right I can choose standard select file then let me choose the file right once we choose the file option here then we can go to optional options no need to check that here we will just upload the image now this will take a lot of time so be patient with that considering your local connection will be used to upload the size of image so not sure if they allow that much or not and considering it's just two to three percent started so I'm a bit worried if it happens at all so I will take a pause here now once the image is finished uploading you can close it now 
here you will find that you have an object in your bucket right and now you can go back and import that so in import image we will name this let's see lubuntu right linux operating system import from object storage bucket so we will pick bucket then our object we already have it iso type is not vmdk virtual machine disk file format so for disk images used in virtual machines so that is where we are going to be stopping again trying to convert this particular iso into vmdk and maybe that should help right here you can see uh, let's say another virtual machine that won't help either right so we don't have that option dot oci either right so dot iso won't work right so even if we choose the link and use the link here in that case it's not a vmdk right so we'll have to get the lubuntu through our vmdk format so let's say lubuntu vmdk download right so we'll have to do this so let's go to one of the resources like os boxes here you can see it has some older versions unfortunately for us so what we can do we can use focal fossa and it should be good enough right so if we download this so it should be available in dot 7z format as you can see so we'll have to extract that and then upload it otherwise it won't work and so it will start the download here you can see 64 bit dot 7z right now the thing is we will have to choose another option there is your vmdk so let me stop this you can see vmware image has this vmdk format so i will go with that so unfortunately i went with vdi format so let it download right so okay so happens to have some decent speed today so i will pause again Okay, now you can see that I managed to upload the VMware virtual file here. So once we have that, I can go to custom images, import that image. Here we can name this UB server. It's a Linux file and it's in object storage bucket. So my bucket is this and it has this particular object now its type is vmdk which i corrected now now i will go and import this image so it will go in the image section it will then show you custom images option here you can see it is in process of setting things up You can now close the tabs that you don't need once it is uploaded you would be calling it from this particular area right so we'll be waiting for it to import completely so it needs to show me the hundred percent result now that image is imported i can go here and check it so everything is success you can see the hundred percent completion now let me come back to instance here default is oracle i will switch to now let's go and check the image here you can see my images section where i can select the image and then i will use it over here and by default i will keep the amd as it is in always free 
option so my image is there then we have option for ssh key i will save public key so it's downloaded here then i will also download private key right now the next would be checking boot volume or so i will pass on that so let's create okay so we see an and subnet seems to be the problem right so i will pick the compartment for myself right so here you can pick on existing subnet but before that you can see we have like two vcns one from the oracle so i will switch to my existing one right so everything looks okay now i can go and create now if everything is properly arranged it will go on and provision those resources for me meanwhile you will find that it has al already accepted my server image for ubuntu and i can then use ssh instance for setting things up okay you would be getting the message here as well so what we can do in the meanwhile is we will just go to desktop pick our keys then go to the place where i can keep them cloud keys so here i will place them now we have our image running here you can see the public ip address so what we can do from this point onwards would be basically going to party so let's go party gen and then use convergence import key and in cloud keys get the key that we just downloaded which is private key open it now save it in ppk format so let's say server dot ppk right then another would be server pub dot pub save this again right then you can close partition and move to party exe right now here i will have to put on some details let's copy ip address then paste it here okay now we will go to our connection then data here you can see auto login username isn't there so i can specify manually which is going to be the os boxes and password would be same os boxes right so we will be using that right and then go to ssh choose host keys cipher and then there is auth where we can put credentials where we will add private key right so cloud keys and here server ppk right that should do now let's come here and give it name as server ub right now we will save this okay now next thing would be to open now once you make the connection you are good to go right so this was short idea on how you can upload your own images and run your instance of linux with always free instance of oracle cloud